I wrote I wrote these two poems. It's actually a piece, uh, like a set of four. I will read two. Um, they're called Gaza from the Diaspora. And like Selma, I'm a bit watered down uh, as a Palestinian. Um, and I like to indicate immediately that I'm writing from a distance. And this is very important because there's a lot of bullshit online. And there's a lot of misinformation and miscommunication. And I think it's very important to highlight where you're writing from when you're writing. I wrote this when I saw an image taken from Gaza from the sky uh, by, uh, by an astronaut from some space thing. Even from space, Gaza is on fire. Its children sheltering in Anwar schools hit. Its entire families huddled in hospitals hit. Its youth sitting perfectly still in the dark hoping this one will miss you. From Amman, from Beirut, in Chicago. We online, yes. But no 140 characters, this. Thousand killed, 4,000 injured. Thousands displaced, no place. Twitter feeds and Facebook timelines and 10 reasons why you should boycott Israel now and five ways children die in Gaza today or how to lose 80 members of your family in one minute. At BB54, Stop saying the rockets are in the damn hospitals, in the schoolrooms, under the beds of four-year-olds. Maybe it helps that eight celebrities express their outrage, tweeted and deleted. At CNN, at Fox News, best rewriting history, best lies on TV, at John Stewart, thank you for educating the silent majority with satire. Day 17. What happened? What is still happening? In Jabalia, the dead console the dying. Anissa with one child in her arms and another in her belly dead. In the hospital, they put the pregnant women alone because they're carrying hope, because they don't want them to see what can happen to children. All white phosphorus and unconfirmed reports of illegal dense inert metal explosives. I can confirm this. International law is clearly for internationals only. By now a seven-year-old in Gaza has survived three wars already and you're still talking about talks and sending John Kerry to the Middle East and thanking Egypt for facilitating nothing. There's more blood than water today in Gaza. Part two. Today in Jabalia, Khan Yunus, in Rafah and Shujaia, we're still burying the dead we find, but the living ask, when in Ruh? Where to now? Shun Sawi, what to do now? Samidun, it means we last. Habibi, today you reminded me we under the same sky, but nowhere refuge, only refugees. Skip breakfast with militias in Benghazi, have lunch in Homs under the rubble, Leave your house in Musa. Leave your house in Musa. Leave your house in Musa three times in one week. Take your body to Beirut. Your heart still beating in Aleppo. Take your body to Amman. Your heart still beating in Gaza. Escape. Take the death boats from Egypt and Libya to Italy. Leave your children on the shore. Arab offspring forecast is cloudy, very cloudy with prospects of unseasonal paradigm shift. I don't know politics, but something about this brand of terror tastes like Burger King. Take back your jihadis for hire. Take back your F-16s, your drones, your bombs from the sky in Iraq, in Libya, in Yemen, dear diaspora. Maybe you have a good job. You're happy. You work with Pepsi. You work at Mimak and Ogilvy, and you don't know if they're closed at Novartis head office in Beirut tomorrow because another bomb went off. You don't take cabs in Cairo anyway, and you don't want to move to Dubai just like everybody. Dear Diaspora, boycott. Don't sponsor occupation with your Jordanian dinars, dirhams, dollars, and pounds sterling. Habibi, I thought you lost my number. It turns out you lost your legs. On the way to the hospital, from Khan Yunus to Jabalia to Rafah, the border is closed. But my heart tunnels. Thank you.